Today in 1944, the Servicemen's Readjustment Act of 1944, commonly referred to as the GI Bill of Rights, was signed into law. Harry Colmery, a former National Commander of the American Legion, is credited with writing the first draft of the GI Bill. The bill that President Roosevelt initially proposed had a means test, but Colmery's American Legion proposal provided full benefits for all veterans, including women and minorities, regardless of their wealth. An important provision of the GI Bill was low interest, zero down payment home loans for servicemen, with some favorable terms for new construction compared to existing housing. This encouraged millions of American families to move out of urban apartments and into suburban homes. By 1956, roughly 7.8 million veterans had used the GI Bill education benefits, some 2.2 million to attend college or universities, an additional 5.6 million for some kind of training. The original GI Bill ended in 1956, but subsequent plans and programs are still referred to as GI Bill to this day. And now we know. And knowing is half the battle.